Hi, my name is Priya, and my project is a model communicating doorbell. My project addresses the need of my client. The issue that my client faced was that she was usually not at home whenever she had important visitors. She regularly receives parcels and packages, which often need signing for, but since she's not there, they can't be delivered. The solution that I came up with was creating a doorbell which calls her up on her cell phone. This way, she'll be able to give the career person the correct instructions, say dropping off the parcel next door or coming at a later time. So my project uses a microcontroller, the AT Mega 64. It has a graphics LCD, which is 192 by 64 pixels, a keypad, three LEDs, a speaker with an amplifying circuit, um, there's a switch, and I've also connected a cell phone um, to the microcontroller. Uh, this here is a um, series of FETs. Each of them have been connected to, um, in parallel with the internal connections in, of the keypad and the cell phone, and these are all connected to the microcontroller. One of the biggest challenges that I faced was connecting the cell phone to the microcontroller. Initially, I had planned for the cell phone to be used as a GSM module, but whenever I tried to send 80 commands to the phone, it would never get a response back. So after a lot of researching, um, I decided to use an alternative, which was to control each of the keys of the phone instead. So I've done this by connecting a whole bunch of fits to both the cell phone and the microcontroller. So this here is my project. This section is to be located on the inside of the house for my client to use. And this section is to be located on the outside of the house for the visitor to use. So firstly, my client must set whether um, she wants call mode on or off. If it's on, then it'll call her up on her cell phone when the visitor arrives. But if call mode is turned off, then it'll act as a normal doorbell. So this can be done by pressing C to set the mode. Currently it's turned off and all these LEDs are also turned off. Press D to exit to the main menu. Now when the visitor arrives and presses the doorbell, it sounds like a doorbell. Now um, to turn call mode on, um, firstly the number must be set so that can be done by pressing A. This has the feature of setting two separate numbers to call to. So by entering in a number and then to set the second number um, to go down, press the asterisk key and the pointer also moves down. Press D to exit. Now these numbers that have been stored can be viewed by pressing B and it displays the same numbers that were entered. Next call mode must be turned on so this can be done by going into C. Um, to turn it on press the asterisk key and the LEDs go on. The top LED indicates that call mode is turned on and each of these LEDs indicates which phone number has been turned on. Um, so currently it's set to phone 1. If I want to do, for it to call to do phone 2, press the hash key and it moves down and the second LED goes on. So leaving it on call 1, press D to exit. Now when the visitor comes and presses the doorbell, it no longer rings and instead the number is dialed and it starts calling. The call lasts for two minutes and is turned off automatically after that. Further developments to my project would include attaching a, an amplified speaker to the cell phone so that it would be louder. I would also create a charger so that it would charge on its own at set times. But overall, the, my project does address the needs of my clients and is a great solution. Thank you.